I told you that there is a journey that's so unreal that only few dare to take it? A journey where the only thing you can rely on is fate. All right, so we're in Mauritania, and we're about to jump on the train that's cutting through the entire Sahara for 24 hours. So let's get it. But for the locals who depend on these railways for their survival, this journey is a necessary one. 10 of January 2023. We knew this adventure wasn't going to be easy. And after two weeks of planning, we were finally able to figure out how we could pull off this trip. I now knew that the locals who rely on this railway for their survival are some of the most resilient and determined people I would ever meet. And I just couldn't help but wonder if I was up for the challenge. So I took a deep breath and made the decision to go forward with the journey. So together with Nick, who I met a couple of weeks ago, we embarked on what would be an extremely thrilling adventure. After arriving to the Republic of Mauritania, we noticed very quickly that to get to the start of the train was going to be an adventure itself. The Mauritanian railway cuts through the blazing hot Sahara, across the entire country, and the point of exit lays in the mountains hundreds of miles away from its capital city. Some tourists take the journey for a couple of hours, but we were in for a challenge, taking the train both ways from the coast all the way to the north and back. A journey that overall was going to take us 40 hours. It's going to take us 20 hours to go through the Sahara and it's around 700-800 kilometers to get to our final destination. So then we'll all jump on the train and hitchhike it. It's going to be epic. Is it heavy? No oh, man, that's, that's what we're here for man. So that's our stuff for the next 24 hours. The train can be here any minute, so you ready? Oh man, it's coming dude. I'm getting thrilled. You can hear the whistle. Bro, imagine it starts leaving with just one of us on it. So we're in the middle of the Sahara Desert and we're going to spend the next 24 hours on this train. Yo, catch. Let's go, man. I think we got to go, bro. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go, bro. The train is now officially moving. And it's actually insane how long it is. I think it's like three kilometers. But as it moved, there was like a shock wave. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, bro. We're now officially off. So now we were on the train for the next 24 hours. And all we could do is embrace what was coming our way. Because once you're on, there's no way to go. Man, it's much worse than I thought it was going to be. Bro, it's so dusty, bro. The dust goes in your eyes. I, I rap for these goggles, bro. I said to you earlier, like, how do you pee? And now I found out, I just told uh, Nick, but now I'm going to tell you guys. So there's a hole here. So what you do, obviously, is you lay down and you pee. I, I know this sounds like a joke, but we will probably have to do that. <laughs> it's way too dangerous to go on here. Bro, this is amazing. We can now see the Sahara Desert for the first time during the trip. The dudes are amazing there, no? Look at that. And we're gonna go exactly through it. Crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I was just speaking with Kai and he said that later we're just gonna jump over this. Like, no, no, no. You'll do it later. <laughs> All right, let me show you what you shouldn't do when you're here, but you will get the good shots if you do it. Get the shots like that. I'm still not sure why adventures like this attract me. On one side, they're nerve wracking, but on the other side, something just draws me to them. I guess it's the excitement of it being a bit hardcore. I don't know if we can even put that in a YouTube video, the crossing this. I think it's fine. But yeah, I'm gonna cross. Sorry, mom. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. What? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. And then you look down and you're like, fuck, that's not fine. It's like crazy. As you sit on the train, the vast expanse of the Sahara stretches out before you. The sun beats down and the golden sand seems to go on forever. As you gaze out at the endless dunes, you can't help but wonder what mysteries and adventures lie hidden beneath the sands. And as we journey through the Sahara, we will also be treated to some of the most breathtaking night skies you will ever see. Mate, when coming here, I never expected to see that many stars. You see the entire Milky Way. And sitting down and looking at the sky called for having some deep conversations. Because here, far from the light pollution of the cities, the desert offers some of the most clearest and darkest skies on Earth. You can just go on trips with people and become friends. Yeah, like I would say like all my life, the best of my friends are the ones that I've met either online or like completely, completely random scenario. Yeah, for me it's different because I have a really tired group of friends at home, but they don't share this ambition, this passion with me. So they're my, my best friends, but then the Buddhist passion I've met like all their best friends as well. Yeah. 
All right, so it's now completely dark and it's getting colder. So we will try to warm up a little bit and hopefully it doesn't get too cold out here. But we got many hours to go. So one thing that they told us is pretty important is to set an alarm for later on because there's a stop of maybe half an hour and you can get robbed, so we gotta be cautious. You know what's crazy is that this train is actually pretty dangerous because sometimes it might get off track and just completely get destroyed and you could die. But let's hope that doesn't happen. Just woke up, didn't even sleep, but it's 3.30, way colder than I expected. It would be here in the desert. So you would think we're almost there, but no, we got six hours to go. But I'm not complaining, local guys do this all the time. I'm very, very cold, but this is epic. We then finally, after a long and cold night, arrived, right when the sun was rising. As our first journey on the Mauritanian railway comes to an end, it is hard to believe that so much has happened in just 30 hours. Through the eyes of the locals who call this harsh and unforgiving place home, we have witnessed the strength and resilience of the human spirit. We have seen how the Mauritanian railway serves as the backbone of the Sahara, providing a lifeline for those who depend on it for their survival. And through the small interactions with these strong and self-sufficient people, I have yet again come to understand the importance of gratitude and perspective. However, we yet didn't say goodbye to the Mauritanian Railway and the Sahara Desert, as we still had 30 hours to go. I'll see you in the next vlog.